Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, amazing. Even at this late hour, some locations have temperatures that are close to 80 degrees with heat index feel like temperatures running in the upper 80s. So certainly a warm, sultry night. Nothing on live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. And of course, we'll be looking at the radar very closely each afternoon because when you get building heat and building humidity, you sometimes run the risk, though not all of the time, of some thunderstorms. I think the chances over the next couple of days or the next couple of afternoons are there, but they should be small. But we'll put them in the forecast, but not expecting anything for this evening and during the overnight dog days of summer as the second heat wave of the summer sets up. Certainly want to be mindful of your pets. Make sure they're cool, comfortable and shaded with plenty of water. Certainly check on elderly. Be careful with young children in heat like this. If you have an elderly neighbor or friend who lives alone, give them a call. Make sure everything is OK, that they're comfortable and cool as well as this will be a prolonged heat wave. Now we've had two days now of consecutive days of 90 or higher, and we have five more to go. So we're talking about a potential six to seven day heat wave with temperatures each afternoon in that 90 to 95 degree range, along with a significant heat index. Now, in the wintertime, we have the wind chill. In the summertime, it's the heat index, the combination of the hot temperatures already, plus the high humidity. It feels hotter, and that is the heat index. It was running over 100 today. It'll be running slightly over 100 for tomorrow as well. And again, the thunderstorm risk initially is low, but we'll keep the chance going next couple of days. But it starts to increase later in the week and by the first half of the weekend. By then, some of them could be locally strong, especially Saturday. We'll show you that in the seven-day future cast. Outside right now, sultry, warm, and humid. Temperatures 81 in Providence, mid to upper 70s along the south shore with Taunton coming in at 73, Newport 75, and Westerly at 78. Take a look at the temperatures next 24 hours starting off this evening. It'll stay well into the 70s all night long. 8 o'clock in the morning, it's already 82. Talk about a rapid launching pad as far as the heat. By early to mid-afternoon, this darker area of red indicating temperatures between 90 and 95. Even the south shore and the beaches are very warm to hot. By late afternoon, early evening, we'll settle back into the mid and upper 80s, then 70s once again by tomorrow night. Each night, we'll have temperatures that'll be uh, in the mid-70s. So for this evening and overnight, warm and sultry, dropping to 73 by daybreak tomorrow morning. Rapid warm-up with sunshine in the lower 80s. 90-95 tomorrow afternoon with a heat index close to 100. Very slight risk, though it is there, of an isolated pop-up thunderstorm. The heat extending through... Saturday and then it cools off a little bit on Sunday at 85 degrees. Beaches will be pretty warm, though not as hot as inland areas with temperatures in the mid 80s. Water temperatures nice in the lower 70s. Slight risk of thunder. It starts to increase though later in the week. In fact, by Friday and especially Saturday, those are the two days we're watching closely for thunderstorms along with hot sunshine. Some could be locally severe. In fact, there is the potential for a severe outbreak of weather on Saturday with a line of strong thunderstorms. And what that will do is break the heat. So by the second half of the weekend, it's uh, it's warm, but it's not as hot. 85 and less humid with clearing skies on Sunday and a temperature in the mid 80s. But each afternoon, 90, 95. I know the forecast will sound like a broken record over the next several days, but that is the weather pattern that is locked in. Nine o'clock tea time tomorrow. Not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Tony.